Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to take a look at this. This is the Firefly filament dryer box from Gracket. And it is uh, powered by Toyo, which means it's app controlled. The manual. Alright, so... That's interesting. I've never seen a filament dryer with a USB port on the back of it before. 120, 240 volts output. Output 24. Oh, okay, that's for the uh, the adapter here. Well, that ain't good. I mean, it become damaged. Look at that. So if you're looking for an airtight, you know, that's no bueno. Yeah, 24 volt, 2 amp. So typical insides of, you know, a filament dryer. You've got this metal plate down here that's going to have a heating film, I guess you call it, applied to the bottom of it. So it's going to get hot. And then I see a dryer there. Or a fan, rather. So that's for your roll to hang on. And then there are also ball bearing down there. So I've got a, uh, a roll of G-Tech high-speed PLA filament, which is nice filament, but definitely needs to be dried. I like I liked how they've done this, so... There's very little friction involved. Very cool. All right. Well, let's uh, plug it in and see what we get. I got the adapter plugged into the wall, so we'll plug it into the dryer. Oh, wow, it's got an OLED screen. Oh, and it has pretty lighting inside. How did I miss the pretty lighting? Why are you yelling at me? Okay, it's got all sorts of settings here. And this thing is advanced. We got a hygrometer here telling us... <laughs> telling us... Our uh, relative humidity percentage. All of our different types of uh, filaments up here. Very cool. All right, so I've been perusing the manual here, and it's kind of interesting. Um, you can even change the colors of the LEDs. So if we double press the, the power switch, whoops. I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, so double press the on off button. Double press the on off button. That should change uh, LED colors, but I don't see it. That's on. Off. Hold on here. There you go. You got to be quick about it. There's a purple. We got white, red, green, switching colors. That's kind of interesting. All right, and let's turn this thing off again. Now, if we long press the power button. Now it says you are uh, filling this flat. <laughs> Power off. Power off. Long press. PC. HPS. TPU. DOI1. DOI2. PLA. There's our winner. 
So now it is set for PLA. And we can just uh, turn it on. And it is going to dry, looks like four hours. Let's see if it says in here exactly what the, uh, the temperatures are. I don't really see anything, but we're going to see how high it gets. <laughs> All right, in the meantime, let's check out the app. So I'm attempting to install the device that says Discovering Devices. Add. Yeah, that's my Wi Fi. Hang on. Alright, detecting network status. Crack it filament dryer being added. I'm not sure what's going on. It appears to be doing something. Ah, there we go. Done. So now we have control over it with the app. Filament type, PLA, very good. LED is set for rainbow. Let's have a nice blue LED. And we'll turn it on. That doesn't seem to be doing anything. Perhaps it's that button. There it is, that's the correct button. Now it's going, we even got fan speed. How cool is that? So, kind of hard to really talk a whole lot about a box that gets hot and blows hot air. But if you're into 3D printing, a filament dryer is an excellent idea. Because you want to keep your filament as dry as possible. If you get uh, moisture in there, it kind of starts to sizzle and pop and it just doesn't work that good. So, this... Uh, other than the shipping damage, God, another piece of it falling off here, look at that. Other than the shipping damage, this seems to be a uh, nice little filament dryer here. Honestly, I can't say that I would ever, ever use the Wi-Fi. Because I have a couple other filament dryers I use. Basically, I just shove the filament in the box, turn it on, and let it go. They're nice if you can print from them as well. Yep. This one has a hole here so that you can feed your filament out and print through here as well. Oh, and it also has one here with a with a bung on it, so that's very nice. This is a little on the pricier side. This is a... Uh, hang on, let me tell you exactly how much this costs. So there it is, the uh, Gracket... Firefly filament dryer, $79. That's a, that's a little spicy in the price range. Uh, the ones I buy, I generally pay about $40 for. I've seen them in the mid-60 range. I mean, I guess if you want Wi-Fi, and you know, that's pretty cool. Anyway, I just want to thank uh, Gracket for sending this out to us, free of charge for our consideration. I will... Put a link to it down below where you can get one, and uh, hope you guys have a great weekend. That's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.